Um, I'm wondering if they they had any specifics on the demographics of of the patients in the trial. I'm thinking um, about some some of what we've heard about epigenetics when it comes to different people with similar breast cancers reacting differently to treatments, um, especially I think with the CDK4-6 inhibitor. I think that's a really good question. Only 2.5% of the patients approximately were black. And so that kind of limits, again, the applicability to more diverse populations. Um, and I, I think that really also highlights, you know, the issue that we have with enrolling to clinical trials, right? And, and the importance of enrolling a broad population so that we can take this to the clinic, right, and say it's applicable because you're right, there are um, racial disparities and differences in outcomes by race that are much more than even socioeconomic, you know, and social determinants of health, right, and things like epigenetics. And so I think that will remain to be determined, but that does kind of limit a little bit of the, the study. Yeah. So there, there are two more trials. Um, Tell me about the the next one that you're mm -hmm. you're super excited about. So let's talk about the Ascent 4 trial. So this is triple negative breast cancer, also first line therapy. So current standard of care, newly diagnosed metastatic triple negatives. We check for PDL1 mutations. If PDL1 is I mean, PDL, we check for PDL1 expression. And if PDL1 is positive, then patients get chemotherapy with pembrolizumab. And if PDL1 is negative, they get chemotherapy alone. And there's a number of studies kind of trying to look at different agents here. Um, and so what Ascent 04 did was it, uh, for PDL1 positive, patients either received chemotherapy with pembrolizumab as the control arm or randomized to receive sasituzumab gubitikin with pembrolizumab. And what they showed in this study was that progression-free survival was improved with sasituzumab um, compared to chemotherapy from 7.8 months in the control arm to 11.2 months with sasituzumab, um, really translating into a 35% reduction in the risk of disease progression or death. And I think this study is really important because we know that patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer, we need better outcomes. We need to improve survival. We don't have you know all the survival data here yet, but I think um, this one is a really important one and certainly you know is being considered practice changing. 